Hey devs, you are listening to Bilal Hamdad and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to explore share contracts which is an exciting feature in UWP. And after watching this video lesson, you will be able to share data with other applications installed in your device like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Outlook, etc. So if you have followed my video lesson, then I believe now you are able to develop UWP applications using different layout controls, can display data analysts through data binding, can add navigation and hamburger menu, and can even consume web services and JSON APIs in your application to make it more useful. And yes, the seventh one, share contracts, which we are going to cover today. So what are share contracts? Share contracts are responsible for sharing data between applications installed in your device. Like I already told you, if there is a Facebook application installed in your machine, you can share something like a cool post, an image or a URL maybe on Facebook through your application. So why we call it a contract? Because your application signs an agreement or a contract with another application to share its data. And what you can share, there are many options among the most useful are text, image, web link, etc. So let's get the ball rolling and see how this thing works. So I've already created an empty project just to save your time. And I'm going to add a layout control, uh, which is tag panel. And I will align it into the center of my screen like this. Now I'm going to add the text box for sharing some post on Facebook and Twitter and etc. So I'm saying the name of my text box is share box and I'm saying that the header should say type something to share like this and I'm going to add a button button control will help me to post something to other applications so I will say the name of this button is post button and the content is post it like this this is a simple layout you can make some beautiful layouts uh, yourself or we will uh, develop some application in the end of this video's lesson series to tell you how to design your application as well so I'm going to add a click even handle to my button control I'm going to the definition of this button now the entire story how data is shared from one application to other will be discussed here for this we have to use a class known as data transfer manager who is responsible for transferring the data from one place to another so I'm going to instantiate this class and I'm going to say that you have to get the current view for transferring the data. Now there are two methods on navigated to and on navigated from. Let me include them. Actually we are going to override them. When these methods are called, whenever an application land on some page or a XAML view, on navigated to method is called. And when it leaves some specific page, on navigated from method is called. So now, I'm going to register a data request even handler in my on navigated to method, and I will unregister it in on navigated from method. And how can I do that? It's pretty simple. I will say data transfer manager is equal to data transfer manager that for current view. Now I will create an event handler. Just press plus equal to symbol and press a tab. Visual Studio will automatically create an, a method for you like this. Now I will say data request actually data request is another class who will request for the data and I have instantiated now 
I will give a title to my share contract. Sorry, properties dot title. This way, I have added a title and I will show you where this title will be appearing on your screen. Now, I will set some text for my share contract. Uh, I will say set text function is responsible for setting up your text. I have used this share box box which is actually this text box to post something to any other social media or email or etc. Alright, now I will set a URL as well. I will say set web link. I will say new URI. Let's use my website address. This way and like I have uh, registered the event handler in my own navigated to method I will unregister it and for unregistering just use minus sign instead of plus symbol all right now I will call the UI of this share contract by data transfer manager dot show share UI now if I build my application Here is the output. I will say I'm a I'm watching a video lesson by Hilal on share contracts like this. And when I will click the button, all the application that can share uh, and that have ability to share something uh, will appear on this share contract. Here is your share contract less uh, title and here is the text which will be shared for example if i use twitter to share my data it will use that web link which i have hard coded in my method and here is that text which i have wrote in this text box and have been used here now if i will press tweet button it will be tweeted to my twitter account so this is how you can add exciting features in your uwp application we will explore some more uh, keep trying this and if you have any kind of ambiguity just ping me on the uh, details being displayed on your screen and happy coding